Alright, here's a first look of Thrustmaster TQS F16 throttle. You can get it three ways. You can get only the throttle itself. You can get just the switch panel, which is actually pretty cool. Or you can get the full package, which is obviously the throttle and the switch panel. Honestly, I think the switch panel could go pretty well with if you already have like an 18 the Warthog uh, you know, system or if you just have any kind of system, you just want some switches. Uh, let's start there. We'll go to the throttle last. So move that forward. And you can see here on, we have a heading right here. We have our INS, or sorry, ILS, TACAN, NAV, all that stuff switches there. We have another access here, which is pretty nice. And then down below, we have out attitude hold. Yeah, attitude holds, autopilot stuff. We have a laser arm switch right here, which is pretty cool. You have a jammer right here. You have the silent. You have your system, your RWR systems uh, button here. You can barely see it. Here, here they are. They're your RWR, your system power, your surge radar. This is and that. Another very important feature you have is your master arm switch right there, which is pretty sweet. Then you have your different programs. The flares are right there. So you got semi, auto, whatnot. And then one of my favorite features is the landing gear here in the front. We have our landing gear switch. You pull it up and back to actually pull. You can't just push it up. You actually pull it up and put it into position. And you have our indicator lights there, as well as we have a jettison, emergency jettison button right here. It does work. And then we have this chaff flare switch. It's pretty cool. Listen to that. That's sweet. And then we have the throttle. So we have the radar cursor here, speed brakes, dogfight modes, the elevation for the antenna is right here. It spins right like that and presses in. Up top, we have the missile uncaged button. We have some buttons on the back here. This one right here is actually for your radio. And then we also have a couple switches down below. You can barely see, they're really dark. This one here and this one here. When you press this, you can actually go back into throttle cutoff. So you press this here, move it up, and go back always to throttle cutoff. It feels great. Military grade, it feels just as good as the A-10 Warthog. So it takes us out. Put two fingers here, one finger there, up. And it's not mounted to anything, so it's kind of hard. So I gotta press the back, put it into throttle idle. Move forward, it's very, very smooth. And I believe you can change the tension because I'm noticing from this one to this one, this one's much tighter than this one. So if you prefer more of a tighter throttle, you can do that. Um, but I'm not sure exactly how I have to ask them how exactly you do make that change. So you move it forward, so we go into afterburners, you go up again like that and all the way forward. It feels great, it really does. And there's a bit close look at the mechanism that does it. So very, very smooth. I mean, it's legit butter smooth. Like, I mean, you can't get any smoother than that. But I like it, like I said, here you can use, I believe this is a uh, default map to like uh, your camera zoom and zoom out. It's very uh, conveniently placed, honestly. I actually really enjoyed how this was placed. So I can't wait to show you guys this in the sim when I get back from the event. But this is really cool. Um, I love it. Let me know. Let me know what you guys think about it. I know it's gonna have some mixed reviews, and that's all right. But uh, any feedback is welcome, obviously. And it's just a first look, not a review. <laughs> just the first look. I'm impressed. I'm really impressed in the quality. It was very unexpected. It was not expecting them to come out with this. This is kind of a uh, a V2 of the old throwback Cougar that a lot of people really loved. So check it out.